Damn, them liberals are a pretty violent bunch, aren't they? You know, one of the questions that still has really never been answered is, why do they call Donald Trump a racist? I mean, I, I mean, he said he wanted to build a wall, but, you know, that's just to keep the illegal immigrants out, is all he's concerned about. So why exactly is he a racist? You know, I don't know. I'm asking. You know, the other question is, is, um, I have for you all is the for the liberals, you know. What, what exactly is Donald Trump's economic plan for the United States? I mean, you keep saying, oh, it's bad, it's, you know. What is it? Tell me. Well, probably what I figured, if you don't know. You know, the other thing is, is liberals are very violent and aggressive. I mean, they show up at the Trump rallies and protest and, you know, get aggressive toward the Trump supporters. You know, why? Then, on the other hand, they want to turn America into a bunch of pussies. That I'm not sure of. Oh, we can't offend the people. You know, oh, we can't do that to them. But you people are showing up to rallies... Uh, for Donald Trump and harassing Trump supporters, you know, you're you're throwing stuff, fighting with them, blocking the, you know, pretty aggressive to me to be a bunch of pacifist pussies, you know. So what's going on? You know, and and why are we apologizing for stuff that happened, you know, 60, 70 years ago? You know, uh, the dropping of the bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Uh, you know, I understand how horrific that was, but my grandfather was in World War II in the Pacific. Um, he wasn't in the Battle of Midway or anything, but he was. He fought in the Pacific um, in the Navy, and his thoughts was, drop a couple more on them sons of bitches. You know, uh, he never forgave you know, for what happened in the war. And, you know, he lost a lot of friends and everything else. He never forgave, never forgot. Uh, made me swear that I would never own a Jap car. Um, you know. So why are all of a sudden, you know, we're disgracing them, especially the ones still alive, by apologizing? Oh, we're so sorry. How many more millions of people would have been dead, American peoples, if we wouldn't have dropped the bombs? Any numbers? Yeah, thought so.